Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Amityville, New York, where a frauditor is doing an audit on the police station. But he got, I guess he just finds it way too boring, so he ends up getting butthurt about, uh, well, somebody calling him by his last name. And, well, he doesn't like it too much. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's get this going. All right, what do we got? All right, so uh, I got this all finished up. Can you let me know if there's any other information that I need on there? Uh, also, if his uh, the spelling of his name is correct, and um, I don't know if I caught his badge number. I can look back in the video and grab his badge number. His car was unmarked, but I did get his license plate. My man was just looking like, eh, hey, gonna get tossed in the garbage anyway, but you know. I can only imagine what this officer over there is thinking about this whole situation. Oh my goodness, not another one of these damn First Amendment auditors. Yeah, I'm right there with you, uh, officer, because these guys think they're hot stuff when they're actually a bunch of nobodies trying to be something. But let's carry on, shall we? sergeant who's been helping us who has been pretty damn decent but you know they don't go against their brothers but okay. you know, so at least he's care. taking a complaint right. don't worry i'm getting you good sir <laughs> you heard him, guys. He thinks no, thank you. You heard him, guys. Can I get uh, his name and badge number? We just left. Sure, it's Miller. One, two, four. Do you remember what he just said as he was leaving? Miller, M I L L E R. Badge. One, two, four. One, two, four. Awesome. Alrighty. Um, did you have more or that's just it? Uh, that's it for right now. Um, if you can print me up, let me see if I have another one for Miller over there now. Um, I have one right here, so I'll come drop that off at another time. Did you catch what he was saying when he left? What'd you say? Did you catch what Miller said right when he was walking out? No? He wasn't talking to one of you guys, right? No. Right, he was talking to me. Listen, Which, yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Can I get your name badge number, boss? It's Gerald163. Excellent, thanks, Fitz Gerald. Do you guys drive unmarked vehicles all the time, or do you guys drive marked as well? No, it's mostly marked vehicles. Gotcha. I want to go find Miller now. You want, you want a copy of this? Please, and stamped if you can, please. Thank you, Sergeant. Oh, yeah. These tyrant cops are just bending over backwards to help you out, but which really doesn't make good content because, you know, it's not drama. It's not stirring the pot, which is exactly what you're about to do in the next few minutes because I'm sure you want those clicks and views and just to have some drama in your life. Uh, I don't know. I prefer to be drama free, but. That's just me, so let's carry on, shall we? What's Miller's rank? Uh, police officer. Just an officer? 
So you as the sergeant, and sergeant, your name again? Walters. Sergeant Walters, you know, what he just said there by spitting out my name, you know, that's just antagonistic. That just makes me so, you know, you guys as- Wow, you're such a sensitive snowflake. Do you realize that? Uh, because using somebody's last name is not exactly antagonistic. In fact, in every branch of the service, you use your last name to identify yourself, such as Private uh, Brown or Sergeant uh, Stone or something like that. Not to mention that a lot of times you're going to call your teacher in school by their last name 90% of the time because it is a matter of respect. I mean, how can you think that something that is a matter of respect can, as a insult? I mean, what the hell, dude? What planet were you born on? The officers should be held at a higher standard, should not be antagonizing people. Now that shit just pissed me off and it's gonna make me even go harder. And I think that's wrong and I think that it's stupid for him to do that because I have this all on film, it's all going on the internet. And by him doing that, you know, just, it makes the department not look good. Dumbass, you dumbass. You're a dumbass, such a dumbass. You're an ass. So, you know, I'm asking you as a sergeant, maybe when he comes back to let him know, maybe that wasn't a good idea to do that. I'll have a talk with him. I appreciate that. So you saw that guy's uh, Officer Miller decided, uh, I don't know why he thinks my last name is Bruno, but that's funny. Antagonistically said my last name just to throw it out there. Like, we know who you are, guys. But I didn't come in here totally masked up. You see me, I got my, you know, regular COVID mask on. I did last time, though. All right, right here, sir. That's, this is the report number that I was, uh, that you were asking for. Okay. Right there. Excellent. And then, um, so with this, this, uh, you know, the copy you got gets sent to IA, right? And then IA will contact me. So That's will contact you, I guess, via the email. You'll... Excellent. Thank you very much. Have a good one, Sergeant. <coughs> hey, Miller! Miller, go fuck yourself! Wow, so incredibly sensitive and so incredibly butthurt because Officer Miller used his last name. Gee, it almost reminds me of that time in the TV show Roseanne where DJ used uh, his friend's full name, Eliza Minnelli, and he ended up getting uh, his feelings hurt because of that, which in that ended up being a great scene between Roseanne and DJ where Roseanne asked DJ to play along as she... Uh, faked chewing him out and he played along and it was such just a great scene yeah I, I might be able to link that in the description box below because it is hysterical and that's what this reminds me of well at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one